It's time to have a battle of GX proportions. We have Yabel going against Armatile, all three of the sacred beasts, in just which one of them is more evil, more supported, and more willing to crush their opponent's soul. At the moment, I think I'm going to root for Yabel, but it is close, actually. A lot closer than some of our other high-end matchups. The one thing I know is that you do not want to fight Armatile in this matchup. Armatile's no, pure power, exactly. pure power tactic is not going to be helpful in this. I will be going uh, second, however. This is one of the few. This is a few times. This is one of the few duels where the individual pieces are going to be definitely better than the than the combined form. Oh well, they always are. If we're, if we're going to be completely honest, um, but it's sometimes fun to go into it anyway. So let's see what you can do with your bell. Obviously, I'm not really, you know, thriving by attack points here. Extravagance can get you a and six already, so a good six card hand to start off with. Excellent. Uh, some of my support the... cards will pretty much help me win here, but I got to do a lot to get use out of them. Let's send the Samsar the Lotus already. Oh, nice. So, assuming you didn't have it in your hand, of course. At least you have that for if you summon a U Bell. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Summon this card and that card. Does that let me? Um, well, I guess I'm going to see. Go I'm going to yeah, bring it. I'm going to reveal. Actually. Um, then you can do that. Nope. Cannot bring out the uh, your bell. No, uh, that's not what the Grand Gwilym does specifically. But you can summon it with any form of your bell in your hand. At least you had a card to set. Um, curious on what it is, though. So we'll find out. Does it not out. show? Oh, I thought you were asking what the, what the your bell card I had was. <laughs> No, the card you set is what I'm curious about. So I have um, going to be transparent with you. All three of the uh, Sacred Beasts in my opening hand, which is a blessing and a curse. However, we can get some cards to make this all work out. I think it's going to be a Chaos Summoning Beast round if I've ever seen one in my life. So we'll do that. Wait for you to make your choices. And... Just reading a card I know. Yep, I'll activate my Chaos Summoning Beast with intention to activate it and get my field card. Um, of course, first it gets to summon one from my hand. Now, who might that be? Who's the right choice for this situation? Tricky, indeed. I can go for Raviel. I can go for Haman. Haman is the best choice if I can get my Sorulian Skyfire on the field, but I don't have it yet, so I'm going to summon Raviel first. Just so I don't waste my one chance at a good uh, Haman play. We're then going to activate the Chaos Summoning Beast. And that'll get us draw two. You, of course, used extravagance for yours. I'm just going to get mine with Fell in Paradise. So we use that. Get myself two cards. <laughs> hey, look, another Raviel. I guess I'm glad I summoned that at the very least. Then I think I know the course of action here. I really wish with this uh, hand I have and some choices in front of me that I could summon another monster, but I don't can't do that so we're just gonna go ahead set some cards set some cards and go for an attack i think i can attack with the guys grinder golem um but i have plans on what to do afterwards if not so we go for that is it the like whatever the newest guy is eternal favorite wait you had a samsara d lotus and you didn't play it i couldn't i think i restricted myself by messing up with the guys grinder golem it was only giving me the option to set. Who That's should have I... played it first? Okay. I was curious to see if I was able to skip all the other steps and go straight into ultimate uh Why would you want ultimate to? nightmare. Okay. Um so we'll just go here. Uh now I don't really I don't know if I want to get rid of the guy's crown to go. I don't know if I have to. I think I'm gonna hold on to it just in case I get a situation that I can use to help me. But yeah. Cause I could just, you know, tribute it and then have a thousand more attack, but it doesn't really mean anything huge. Uh, so, um, what's that turn there? All right, gain 300, 3,000 more attack. But either way, I can't protect my guys. So, that's okay. What we will do is uh, something that affects you in no way whatsoever. We'll play Awakening of the Sacred Beasts. So I gain life points for all the attack points you put on the field. Man with like six zero attack monsters. <laughs> Ooh, Nightmare Pain. It's good, but an awkward situation to be in with what you're sitting on right now. Destroy the uh, ultimate nightmare. Yep. 
and I can just bring. Yeah, I think that's the best option. It's just to bring back uh, the last Samsar D Lotus I have. Bring it out. Use it to special summon uh, U Bell. Okay. But, uh, but uh, the issue is with that. Mm -hmm. I won't have. Uh, I won't have uh, a monster to tribute by hey, that bro. effect. Oh Samsar wait, if I. Eat. Lotus I just does remember, it all yeah. by himself. No, Samsar D Lotus is your best card in that deck. Don't forget it. And here, hold on, look, I have more tokens to help your uh, fusion when it comes out. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky, because it does take me more time to cook up my uh, big plays. And uh, you're in position to pretty much pull triggers whenever you want now. Which I think I am going to do. Fusion summon. Okay. Discarding my... the last pot card I had. I didn't want to I didn't want to get rid of my last fusion cards I had. I already got rid of one of them. Sure. Oh, I can't use the token. Oh, that's nice. Oh, because they have to be sent to graveyard, and since tokens oh. don't go to the graveyard. Fair enough, I'll take it. So you do get a big, strong monster on the field, unfortunately. A little bit of burn to me, but it's a drop in the bucket compared to what could be done to me if uh, attacks get sent back and forth. All right, this is funny, but I'll do it anyway. Fairy box. Oh no, you don't lose all your attack points. <laughs> yep. Take so. the 2,000 to the phase. Yeah, I'm in a tricky position but, here. Oh yeah, I think I lose. Um, well, depends. Well, what, what you if do. you don't bring anything out, I can't. Yeah. Since I am fighting you, Bell, I'm just not going to pay for Fairy Box. I just need spell cards in the... Uh... Actually, that was dumb. I could have done a little something better. But that's okay. Um, I will end my turn with all three copies of the Sacred Beast still in my hand. All right, sounds good. All right. Um, yeah. during a main phase, you destroy one. Yeah, nightmare pain. If you have a target you want to destroy, it's a great yeah. card. But if you don't have something to destroy, don't use it. Yeah, and I didn't draw a card that was gonna help me out right now. So all I can do is really end because I get attacked you directly. But it's gonna Boy, count as zero. How can I draw five out of six of my <laughs> cards already? Not fun. What? <laughs> Not fun. Okay. I'm uh, curious what your hand looks like. Two Hamans, one Raviel, and one Uriah. Being that I already had a Raviel in my opening hand, so five of them have been drawn so far. You're just drawing nothing but the. Oh yeah. god. Um, I can make a play now, but it's not the best play against. Um, the Loving Defender forever. So, I'm going to be patient. Now, I did kind of misspeak a little bit last time. It can be worth it to destroy your Yubel, just to kind of start the chain all over again. I just don't know exactly how it's going to look for you. Um, Ooh. bringing Spirit out by itself is worth it. I don't know. That works too. Oh, no! Alright, we know what we have to do. It's gonna be rough. Of course, I get the Geist Grinder Golem with the Nightmare Pain well, that gives you... I would need to reveal a... Uh, oh, you didn't have hand. one in hand. Okay. No, I don't. Not right now, no. Okay. You but I do know... I know I'm about to lose the Loving Defender, though. Um, If you say so. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. I didn't know it protected itself. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good, turns out. All right, that's not a good card for this situation, but I could do it anyway, but I'm just not going to. We're going to keep tempting fate. And I'm terrified. Oh, oh, thank you, deck. Uh, thank you for responding you to me. Ah, no. Yeah. All right. We'll see if this can all work out. Looks like you have it. And the spirit of you, Bell. Go ahead, destroy that with Nightmare Pain for extra benefit. Okay. Lovely. So there's two ways I can gamble this game. Um, I could have um, gone ahead and summoned my uh, Uriah and then started Fallen Paradising. But once again, if Uriah was attacked, I'd lose all my life points right there. So I'm gambling by another means at the moment. And we're going to see how things work out. Ooh, we got Mature Chronicle. Excellent. Shame you got it after you summoned all your U-Bells, but... Yeah! 
Yeah. I was about to say. And of course, you go for an attack, and now that you've activated it, I play Skill Drain. Which hurts. Um, but. Ah, no! I still lose oh, because graveyard. of that effect. <laughs> graveyard effect. I guess because. I guess because I activate it from the graveyard. Mm hmm. So. Because normally it activates from the field. Yeah, funny enough, if you had attacked with one of the other ones, then I think it would have gone differently. Or, um, yeah, I mean, a bunch of ifs. But let's go again. That was good. I had some plays, but it just wasn't quite enough. If you get that turn one, though, I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah. I got it a little late in the game. And as I said, I could have gotten rid of it to summon my Uriah, but Uriah just wouldn't do it by itself. Uh, I think you need to rejoin the game. Yeah, I'm just looking for you right now. All right. There you are. And I think first I'll go second. second again. All right, going first. Obviously, going first does work kind of well for you if you get the full setup, but I just don't see a world where going first helps me unless I get the perfect setup. All right. Oh, excellent. Uh, should have played Mature Chronicle first, but... Yeah, I realized only that. Only off by one. <laughs> um, I don't know the perfect Foolish Burial target off the top of my head. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just send a spear to you, Bell. Okay. Very good. And then Samsara comes out. You get your U Bell to get rid of it. Which, you know, means I only have a U Bell to contend with on the field. It's not the worst thing in the world. You could have had some of the uh, support cards out there as well. Now I just have to worry about the timing of Mature Chronicle. Yay. Uh, we're going to start with an Upstart Goblin, because who cares about life points when I do 10,000 attack? All right, and then we're going to, why not, Allure of Darkness. It's in the deck. Probably shouldn't be. Um, and I didn't draw any more darks, but we will get rid of the Dark Summoning Beast. I okay. swear, Zylo, if you played it and you just draw, like, all the Sacred Beasts and they weren't dark or something. Well, I had an Allure of Darkness in my six-card hand of five Sacred Beasts and an Allure of Darkness last time. I didn't play it, um, but I could have. I could have done just and that. And then I just see all your car hands just get banished. Yes, all but one of the sacred beasts in the deck would be in the graveyard, or banished in that case. So, a little dicey. What shall I start off with here? I guess opening of the spirit gates is quite wonderful. Um, but we will... Yeah, let's activate it first, why not? Do that. We could add the chaos summoning beast right here, or we could start with the dark beckoning beast. I think... Um, yeah, we'll add the chaos summoning beast. That sounds good, because I have uh, plenty of Haman in my hand. And I think when I play Dark Beckoning Beast, I get an additional normal summon. So we'll just play it, get a search off of it while we're at it. We already drew opening of the Spirit Gate, so what am I going to add? Oh, yes, Cerulean Skyfire. This will allow me to negate a spell or trap, which is massive. That's got to be the move. Yeah. Because with my extra summon, I can go straight for that Chaos Summoning Beast. And he will allow me to summon the Hamans that were thankfully in my hand. This is not a guaranteed combo that's going to, you know, fit every situation. Um, but with the hand I was dealt, I am able to get everything I particularly want in one turn. And some extra draws to boot. So we got ourselves an extra copy of Raviel for a potential summon next turn. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. We'll play uh, Cerulean Skyfire right now. So, I suppose, uh, for fun, we'll just set the rest of our hand because we can possibly use it. I don't have anything extra cheeky to do with uh, Dark Beckoning Beast. Uh, there is one possible play. I might as well do it. So we'll go for an All Mirage. Just as an added layer of protection. We can use Opening Spirit Gates to do a little more, but I'm gonna hold on to that option and go for an attack. Woo! Get him, Ubel! Woo! Tie game! Nothing is gonna happen, because there's no nightmare pain on the field. Oh wait, no, it still does that when I attack into it. That's right. <laughs> Foolish. Okay. Well, okay. I was about to say, that's basic you bell. That, I, I, yeah. that was no... <laughs> Forgot that wasn't the next form that does that. It's okay. I'm still in a position where I'm happy. To be fair, life points really don't matter for me if you think about it. Because as soon as you get your big plays, you can just wipe them all out anyway. <laughs> sure, I'm just saying that because I made a goofy mistake. But it is also partially true. Alright, Spirit of Bell comes out. Fantastic. That's a lovely search. Yep, and I'm going to use it to get Nightmare Pain. Massive. Alright, Nightmare Pain set right then and there. 
And of course, I would like to negate that. Doesn't destroy it though, so I'll be able to use it next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep sky firing it, unfortunately. Um, oh yeah, I can change my battle position. Ooh, ah. That's a, I, it's a weird condition to do that. Yeah, but it is what it is. Oh right, your whole thing is once it's in defensive mode, I have to attack into it. Yeah. So. Not going to do that in case yeah. you might have like a. So, yeah, another negate the effects. And ooh, what's it letting you do here? Uh, while you control you belly monsters, I can just target one card in the field and destroy it. Oh, that's the effect I intended to negate. Welp, that's unfortunate. At least we're in main phase two. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, ooh, I should have actually prompted my Almirage right there. Maybe I'll still get a chance. All right, ending the turn, and you already know. Oh, yeah, I'm a Raj effect. Yeah. Just to make sure that doesn't die. We'll, we'll keep something out here. Okay, now let's see if we can get crafty out here. Spirit of Ubel does go off, allowing me to yeah get another Ubel out. Um, not that it's really a good choice right now, but oh, you did it. Okay. Because I still have the Samsara Lotus. Is okay, to... yeah, if that can all in that time. I was, I was confused if the chain order was going to support all that, but now we are in trouble. Good thing this is the end phase because, man, it's got five counters on that Mature Chronicle. This is yours, so I forget if this is the version that you sent me that has a Super Poly or not. Yeah, I think all my Ubel versions have a Super Poly. So that's scary. Uh, now what to do against you here? Um, I have plenty of cards. I have great options I can go into here. Uh, I guess I'll just have to start playing them. We're going to start with the Dark... Beckoning Beast. Activate its effect, and... Yeah, we can get to a... What I think to be a strong winning point here. Um, is there any reason for me to go into Chaos Summoning Beast rather than a Dark Summoning Beast here? Not particularly. So, I think I'll do just that. Go into the Dark Summoning Beast. Because it's not like I want to directly attack into you with the field I have. Um, well, if I flip up my card, maybe I do want to attack directly into you. But I just don't know how things are gonna go, so we'll we'll play it slow and let fate decide what happens next. I think. Or I could just do that and summon a card from hand right now. I guess I might as well just play it all right now. Sure. Okay. So attack mode with you, of course. Um, we're not gonna be well. We could actually. So let's just try to win this round. Chaos Summoning Beast. Obviously, I don't need another Fallen Paradise. Um, but it'll let me summon another thing from hand. We have Raviel as well. And the real reason I wanted to do this is to play my Awakening of the Sacred Beasts, which I believe to be one of my win conditions against you. Any monsters um, that you control are negating their activated effects. Now the question here is, are they activated effects? Well, I don't know. Let's just keep drawing stuff to see if I can find any other fun options to add to this. Um, we can use this to discard. If you were, if you drew like a, what's a good? If you drew the uh, effect removal, I forget what it's called again. Um, the yeah. effect suppression skill thing. Skill drain. Skill drain. Thank you. If yeah. you drew skill drain right now, that would be optimal right now because you could just oh, deal. Yeah. Activate it and just deal 8,000 straight to my face. It would be wonderful. Um, however, I think, it, I mean, yeah, if it's going to work, it's going to work now just as much as it will next turn. So let's just run for it. Uh, might as well use this. Go into another All Mirage if it comes down to it. Now, yeah, it's just really a test of is this going to work or not? I don't know. We're going to find out. So, battle. We attack with Haman right into the Ubel. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. Nightmare Pain. I still lose. Yeah, Nightmare Pain effect. I just was like, how did that work? And, and as soon as he said, yeah, Nightmare Pain does kind of work around right, the whole negating tough to get around. I want another one. <laughs> this is real tough with this deck. Like, I keep building a superior field and everything. And then doing some dumb stuff here and then. Um, but yeah. It's gotta be a oh, clever way. By the way. 
in my starting hand in the last duel. I started mm -hmm. with three Samsara Lotuses. Hey, all you need is one, but that's beautiful. You get any Samsara Lotus, you can't complain. Oh no, he's learning. He played Mature Chronicle first. Oh no, he started with the, both of them. He can Nightmare Pain away, and if he has... Oh, imagine if he has a Spirit of Ubel in his hand right now. Okay, I wish I did. He had to toss the Ultimate Nightmare, which actually is an awful target for Nightmare Pain. But hey, you get your Samsara D Lotus at least, so you can mm -hmm. play and start charging up your Mature Chronicle. You know what? I'm gonna activate my full my lower darkness. Sure. Ooh. Okay. So I have to banish the Terran Carnage, but I have multiple copies in the yeah, deck. Yeah, so I think that that just... deck has two copies. You're good. Activate. Bring out the U Bell. But right. this is a decent field to end on. Yeah, it's the basics, and you know, with the Mature Chronicle and Nightmare Pain already working its way, um, the real goal would be to get a. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I guess you needed to do certain combos, but if you were able to get your uh, trap card on the field as well, which you would have been able to search by, uh, well, just doing something else. But you didn't have the option, I don't think. So, I didn't know. we have a few things to do here. Let's open the spirit gate, see what comes out of it. Um, I have in this position a Raviel, so I could go for that support angle. I have Uriah, but I don't have as much of the Uri Uriah support in this deck. So, um,. It's not a field that breaks you, admittedly. Um, but let's try to get the Haman plays out again, because I think I can set it up to help, at least. So, we'll do that. We are going to now summon Dark Beckoning Beast, which will activate to get myself. Awakening of the Sacred Beast is simply going to take too long. I actually could get Hyper Blaze, and I can really just power up my Uriah with that. I don't think it messes with your stuff enough. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I can go straight into my Armatile with this opening hand, but it's just not good <laughs> against you. Plain and simple. Um, I can, however, go into the Chaos Phantasm, which, you know, if I play this, um, you give control of this to the opponent, and then the... Yeah, it just does that. Clears your field. It might be worth doing. Let's see. Let me just see if I can remember exactly uh, what this does. So, um, I summon this, and then I give control of it to the opponent. It banishes all of your cards. I'm gonna do it. Why not? Because I can try the same thing I did last time, and hope it, you know, I perform a little cleaner. Or I could try something insanely different. And insane is kind of the keyword here. We're gonna use a uh, Chaos Summon and Beast while we're at it. Why not? And Special Summon doesn't particularly matter. We'll just put him out. We're just trying to get the field card, get a couple extra draws. Doesn't matter the order I'm doing this in, but we'll do it anyway. Activate. There it is. Activate more draws. Lovely. Um, we have an Allure of Darkness, I sure as anything aren't using. Um, but we'll go for this. And we are going to summon the Chaos Phantasm Phantom of Fury. By using you and you and you. So sure, we'll put him right here. So out comes him. Now, what is the next option to go for? Well, I should probably do something about this uh, Dark Beckoning Beast on the field, but I can't exactly go into an All Mirage right here. So I will not. I will simply hand him over to you and hope... Oh? Hope this works. That's, that's all I got. End my turn. Which is tricky, but... Oh, that... right. That's his effect. That yeah. he just goes on my side. Um... Don't know why it's not letting me in my turn, but sure, we'll use this. Special summon another card. And do I have do to you go have to, to battle activate. phase? Oh, maybe I do. Oh yeah, Nightmare Pain. Nightmare yeah. Pain forces you. Alright, here you, you go. Have... Attacking with all my might. Let's go. Great. So does she just pet the do they just pet the bunny? Yeah, I think you just pet the bunny. Which is kind of scary and terrifying to think about. But there it is. You know what? If there was a character in Yu-Gi-Oh that have like a flaming bunny as their pet, it would be you, Bell. Actually. Possibly. And there we go. We got our Armatile. You have three cards to deal with. And I have a hope that things will not go in your favor. Because <laughs> we banished some very good cards from you. You did, yes. Um, Extravagance could save you. Okay, I did not... I banished... Mostly single copies, which is good. Yeah. 
I have a kaiju. Oh. Do I have that kaiju on the deck? <laughs> it was in yours. I didn't touch your deck. Yeah, I must have at some point. I don't know if that's my most recent version of it, but fair enough. And yeah, got nothing else. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't. So it's not a recent version of my deck, but hey, it's uh, still good for you. All right. Um, and I did expend a whole lot to get to that point. However, I'm still in a, at the moment, winning position. Um, Eternal Favorite will do nothing for you without you, Bell. Um, oh yeah, it does summon you, Bell. That isn't nothing. But you don't have as much to fear from it. Now, I don't have exactly the hand cards in my extra deck to deal with you, Bell, per se, so that's troubling. Um, I don't have anything to draw from Fallen Paradise, but I do have another Upstart Goblin, my new favorite card. <laughs> and what is there to do here? It's tricky, I'll admit that. We'll set a card to see if that'll help us any, but it won't. And I think I have to Dark Summoning Beast here. It's not good. Considering I'm going up against a U-Bell deck, I may as well... Um... Tribute the Dogrin. I don't see any universe where that Dogrin being on my field could be more help than it is hurt. So, unless, do I have any level 8s in here? No, I don't, so we'll get rid of Dogrin. You know, this would be a clever way to get around Nightmare Pain, by the way. If you, if I had Nightmare Pain on the field right now. It's all zero monsters. <laughs> not only that, but also using Dark Summoning Beast, you have to skip your battle phase, which negates the whole you have True. to attack with all your monsters. That's a good point. Uh, how many of everything do I have? Nothing in particular, so we'll just go a basic Raviel summon. So we're just going to activate, draw two, hope that we can get something juicy. We got a copy of Uriah. We got some Foolish Burial Goods, which... What do I even want to send in here? Um, Awakening of the Spirit Beasts doesn't do anything for me. One card does, I just forget what it is. Well, it's probably... Uh, yeah, I really don't remember. I guess we're just going to send some Hyper Blaze. No, we'll just send another Awakening of the Spirit Beasts. Or we'll send Fairy Box because it's dead in this duel. And we're just trying to get more of those into the graveyard. Okay, what is the uh, plan of action here? I think I'd like to destroy Eternal Favorite. So that might be worth doing. Um, sure, we'll do it. I will activate... Do I do this now? Um, I think I might be able to summon another Sacred Beast, actually, at the moment. Let's, uh, let's go crazy. Activate Dark Summoning Beast. Get myself Haman. Now, can I still use this? No, I cannot, but I might be able to get there. We'll use this. Putting a monster in attack mode is really less risky than it ever has been before. In fact, you know, let's go for Uriah, because attack points don't matter. And see what I can get off of this. I will have to discard my, I think, last copy of Haman. Yeah. But all of my Sacred Beasts have been played, so last copy is irrelevant. Oh, no, we just special summon. I was hoping for a search. We don't have a search. Now, is it worth it to do anything else in particular? Not really. So, I suppose with that, I will end my turn. Because no one else has effects to activate. And we're in a tricky position, situation again. Just wasn't able okay. to build up a field faster than you could get your setup back out. Now, I can just fusion someone right now. Yeah. Which I think I am going to do. Okay. By discarding the U-Bell I do have in the hand, I'm going to activate it and allow me to fusion someone. Doesn't actually help, I don't think. Aha! Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I don't even think I did anything, but... Alrighty. Big burn to my life points. Let's go. I think it's the most we've seen with that burn. Yeah, 2,500 is pretty good. Or 35. Except this, which... except this time, you don't have a hand this time. Not, not yet. Um, so let's start building one again. Um, we have used every last Sacred Beast in our deck, so that's problematic. Let's see what we can search with our Dark uh, Beckoning Beast. We can search for... Um, gee, I don't know if anything will save this duel. I think we've expended every last material we've had. So... There is a reason why Yubel controlled them, controlled them as her minions. Yeah, we're seeing it now. 
Because uh, for those who don't know, in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, the Sacred Beasts were the main bads. Well, not the main bads, but they were trying to prevent them from being released into the world. And, uh, and everything, and they were kind of used as the final final checkpoint of uh, the character Jaden. Mm -hmm. But then here comes Yubel in Season 3. And, well, Yubel just says, Ooh, cool card, steals them like they were nothing, like Season 1 was nothing. And uh, just says, I'm not only going to use them, I'm going to improve them by fusing them together into Armatile. Indeed. So, so this, so basically proving that they became the master of the sacred beasts. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna summon this. I don't think I can do anything with it. Oh. But... Yeah. If I remember correctly, in the lore of the whole GX, I think their power is was supposed to be on par with the Egyptian god cards too. Well, yeah. I mean that makes sense. They're god cards, effectively. And they do look like they're monster versions. They're beast versions. Yeah. They're slightly altered versions, of course. But yeah, um, this is this is bad. This is it's it's sort of they kind of look like that one like that kid's like, hey, what did you get? Hey, can I copy your homework? Sure, just don't make it look exactly like yours. Don't look at make so. it. Don't make yours exactly like mine. And that's what the sacred beasts look like. They turned out to be. I don't think I have any reasonable play left in this deck. I think I've played them all, which means, hey, I gave it an effort. Um, so what I'm going to do here is do this so that I can summon my Dark Beckoning Beast. And now that I've done that, I'm actually in a position where I can flip up my Fairy Box, use from the graveyard my Raviel, tribute this, get it to my hand, then I can activate again, send it right back, and do the same thing again in an infinite loop. But instead of doing that and wasting our time... I'm just going to summon a monster that has attack points and no other purpose. Yeah, it's not the not the best matchup for Sacred Beasts, unfortunately. As I said, no. there's plays that I can do to stop you, um, such as getting my Awakening set out before you get anything set out. It's just... My deck needs two turns to get to that point, and your deck needs one turn to get to a good point, so... Just comes down to the pacing of the decks. Obviously, I can put out strong monsters in one turn, but that's no good against you, Bell. And if my extra deck had more random support cards in it, that could, you know, target destroy or target take over. It could help out, but, you know, not every extra deck is going to be able to fit every situation. No. And there it goes. Realistically, we're just waiting until you happen to draw a Geist Grinder Golem anyway, because then you can solidify your own win, especially with the Nightmare Pain. So there it is. If you oh. can do it. <laughs> Yet another card that means nothing. <laughs> yeah. But we feel like we feel like Sacred Beast tried their best. I think the only other no, way they I think played at least, it's just they didn't have specific outs for you, Bell. Although I will say if you were able to bring let's say you had a good turn one, you brought out like maybe one or if you're lucky two Sacred Beasts and all that. Mm -hmm. And then you had set down the, uh, the yeah, skill drain. The awakening trap. Or the skill drain, yeah. Either one of those would do it. But as and, I said, it's very rare that I can summon multiple of my sacred beasts in one turn. I can usually always do at least one and then consistently do another one the next turn. It's just your deck's too fast to fall in fall in trouble to that. Yeah. Or, or my deck that you're playing. Either way, you bell is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and we'll see you next time. See you, folks.